Hello, hello. Kenny Evans here. Another car video. Topic of this video is Drake ruins a happy relationship. But before we get into this, for you guys who are new or have been around for a little while, subscribe. I appreciate the subscribes or the subscriptions. And also, if you want to just support, if you think it's going to be a good video, hit that like button. I appreciate that as well. So, let us get started here. Drake ruins a happy relationship. Obviously, this is a pretty uh, important topic here uh, going on since it just happened here about a week or two ago, or at least it came out here a week or two ago. So, a lot of buzzes uh, around it right now. Um, Naomi Sharon, she was the... A uh, woman who cheated on her eight year a relationship, her fiance, um, with Drake, and how she ended that relationship, you know, after sleeping with Drake. I'm not 100% sure why. Um, I don't know if it was her who ended the relationship or if her fiance did, but the relationship ended. You know, after eight years, uh, apparently Drake flew her and her fiance out and um, they were uh, uh, Naomi and Drake were working on some music. And I guess in the process, um, Drake went a little bit more than just uh, some uh, recording sessions to do with Naomi. So um, and they got it in, you know, what I mean, so. This is all pretty predictable. Um, kind of imagine how the guy is. You know, Naomi Sharon's ex-fiance. They're supposed to get married, apparently. Obviously, that's not going to happen again. Um, but, yeah. You know, I say happy uh, relationship here in quotations. Because, obviously, you know, um, their relationship was already rocky. You know, before Drake got into it, you know what I mean? They were probably more, more than likely just sticking it out uh, just because they wanted to be in a relationship with each other. But they more than likely weren't happy. Um, you know, there was probably just, you know, the routine of it all. They decided to stick it through. You know what I mean? Um, obviously, Drake exposed a major weakness in their relationship. More than likely their sex life wasn't that great you know what I mean um and it was big enough of a gap or at least a big enough of an issue where she had sex with Drake um again I don't know who called off the relationship whether it was her or her ex-fiance but either way you know they couldn't come back from this um from this this situation you know what i mean i don't know how long it had been going on or anything but you know they ended the relationship because of it so um they couldn't come back from it you know so uh and even with that more than likely because the guy uh, made a little post about the situation so more than likely uh, Naomi Sharon was the leader in the relationship and she obviously didn't really respect him and I get it things happen you know and um, you know you make bad decisions um, but if she had respect for him and she really loved him or was in love with him regardless of her music career Maybe he, Drake said, hey, if you do this, you, you have sex with me, you know, uh, then I'll be able to push your, your music a little bit further. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, if she truly loved her man, she truly had a lot of respect for him, she would have never done it. She would have walked away, realized, hey, there'll be other opportunities for me, maybe a while. And I know, and she's been in the music industry for a little while. You know, I've seen some of her, I was on her TikTok, on her Instagram, and I saw some of her, um, 
you know, post. They've been from, from years back in 2014. So she's been in the music industry for a long time. And I understand it was her big break. But if out of her respect for her man and her relationship, she could have easily waited, you know, especially if she made a move, if Drake made a move on her and she rejected him. Man, you know, that could be huge for her. The positive way, you know, she exposed that and I get it. You know, what I mean, it, it, it could have been some backlash at the same time, but, you know, but then she kind of get more exposure for her music. As opposed to just her look, because obviously most people hadn't heard about her before this, you know what I mean? And she could get some some shine from it, but now she's going to get some negative backlash because she cheated, you know what I mean? So, uh, it's, it's she, now she has to stick with Drake, you know, or it's, whew, she could, again, get some really bad um, publicity from this. You know what I mean? And if she doesn't know how to capitalize on it, it could ruin her career. You know? Um, but I also want to say, men who who blame men when their women cheat are weak. Because your, your wife, your girlfriend, the girl you're talking to is supposed to be closest to you. She's not supposed to be closer to that other man. And you're not supposed to be closer to that other man. You know what I mean? So you blaming that man, whether it's your your friend, your brother, you know, a random guy on the street, it doesn't matter because your woman, your girl, your wife, y'all the one having sex. Y'all the one are having all that intimacy and closeness. Y'all are supposed to be the closest people in the world because y'all are sharing each other's bodies. You know what I mean? So I don't care if it's your brother you know, your you know best friend, some random guy on the street, there's never going to be that closeness that you should have with your, 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 your girl, your woman. You know what I mean? So you should always punish the woman before you punish the man. Again, if it is like a brother or a best friend, sure, you shouldn't be friends with them or you shouldn't be as close with them, you know? Because that is a huge breach of trust. And I'm not saying it's okay and you they should not... Um, suffer any repercussions all I'm saying is you should take it more you should leave that woman and distance yourself from your brother best friend or whoever it is that guy in your relationship but you shouldn't be mad you should be more mad at the at, at your, your woman for her cheating not the your you know your, the dude for cheating because again you and him are not as close I don't care if you've known him for years you're sharing your body with your woman. You're sharing the secrets and the intimacy, the emotion. You should be closer to your woman. And she should know better. She actually, she should have more respect and trust and love for you. You know what I mean? And because she didn't, she cheated. So you, you, you more take it out on the woman. And again, at the end of the day, you just leave. You know what I mean? Or tell her to come back whenever she, you know, she's ready. You know what I mean? And you're going to do your thing. So, um, but even then, it's just like a lot of guys feel like because they're in a long-term relationship or they want to get in a long-term relationship because they got to lock the woman down and they feel like once she's in that long-term relationship, whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, or even marriage, that she's yours. But at the end of the day, that is never, never the case. It's never the case. This may or may not have been the first time she cheated on the dude. Um, maybe just Drake was the last straw, but their relationship was rocky before Drake became, came into the picture. And, you know, you got to always realize if you're not a strong man, a confident man, alpha man, whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean? Your woman, and even if you are, it's still no guarantee. You just give yourself a higher opportunity and percentage of being able to... Um, you know, be more the leader and have more of a happy home and a happy relationship. You just give yourself a higher opportunity, higher percentage of having a ha uh, a happy relationship. But it's still no guarantee because at the end of the day, you never know what that woman may want. Maybe she got tired. She gets tired of you. She's bored. She's looking for something different. So she just want to step out. You know what I mean? She feel like she just want to get the one time fix, but still want to keep you around. 
And again, you if you're a strong man, you're a confident man, you're an alpha man, you'd be able to tell the little subtleties and how she's acting different. But most guys aren't. Most guys are weak beta males, so they can't really tell. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, it is very important to realize just because you're in a, a long-term relationship, it doesn't mean your woman won't cheat. It's very important. You just got to be on your P's and Q's. And if things are not going well, correct it. And if she does step out, then you got to do what you got to do. You leave her. You know what I mean? Uh, unless if you just in it just to, for the legacy, but not really for love. You know what I mean? Um, or you don't have that unconditional love. You know what I mean? It's okay. And if you want to have that unconditional love, that's cool. But respect is important. You know, so um, that's a huge sign of disrespect because she could have easily told you if she wanted to uh, step out. So, but that's all I got for y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, whether you agree, disagree with what I said, or if there's more you want to add. Um, hit that uh, notification button. Uh, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. You know what I mean? And of course, till next week, y'all stay safe. Always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.